Have you been wondering about the performance of Fox Farm Ocean Forest? If so, follow us along as we fill out a scorecard, evaluate its overall score and best uses. Now, the first thing that we're gonna look at as a consumer and the first thing we looked at was the price as we had to go and purchase this bag of soil. Now, to keep a level playing field, we always evaluate this on price per cubic foot of soil. And so this Fox Farm product came in right at $20.73 per cubic foot where we purchased it. So that's a little more on the high end of what we've purchased to date. Um, and based on our chart, that gives it a price score for that metric of 5.5. Um, so let's see at that price point how much value we're getting out of this. Yeah, so we like to look at this as a consumer. So um, obviously price point, next thing when you open the bag, what do we smell when we open the bag? I guess just to refresh my, my palate. Um, yeah, so with, the, with this soil, um, yeah, real earthy. I got a real earthy scent, not off-putting, off just like a healthy, healthy soil scent, nothing off-putting. Okay. Oh, that does, it has an earthy smell. And I know there's some organic fertilizers added to this. I do, I do get a lot of that really fertile smell. It goes along nicely with the color. Um, from a scoring standpoint, this is one of my favorites um, that I've smelled so far. I'm, I'm at an eight on this one. Yeah, for smell on this one, I scored it at a nine. Okay, so, so do you wanna meet in the middle and we'll call it eight and a half for a smell score? It's a really nice smelling soil. Yep. All right. So after we've smelled it, why don't we go ahead and just have a look and feel and just give it that kind of subjective look and feel rating. Um, really soft uh, in the hand, pretty fine particles. What else are you noticing, Chris? A uh, smaller amount of perlite just to give it a little more drainage, but really consistent particle size. You know, you have your smaller fines. Um, no real medium sized stuff uh, outside of the perlite, you know, a little mm -hmm. bit here and there, but just looks like a, a healthy, a healthy soil. And I'll mention the density was fantastic. As I was filling this container, I was able to firm that soil up nice, top it off. We got almost no settling over the first, you know, six, seven weeks of the trial. Um, so for a look and feel standpoint, I'm really, really satisfied um, with this Fox Farm Ocean Forest. Um, I actually had this one um, at an eight. Uh, I had the look and feel at an eight as well. Okay, so great look, great feel, wonderful smell. Um, and let's go ahead and turn it over to Chris from My Soil to start discussing those, uh, those nutrient levels. All right, so when we ran the soil test prior to planting, got the results back, uh, we evaluated um, the soil results uh, prior to ever seeing the plant growth. And uh, for me, um, overall, really good um, nutrient levels. Everything was at or above the optimal range, including soil pH. Um, the only thing low was micronutrients, so pretty simple addition um, to the soil. But all our, our macronutrients, including um, nitrogen, were um, at or above optimal range, good calcium, magnesium. Um, so all those components were there. It's a, it's a really good soil to, to start out of the gate and looks like it could um, support, you know, good plant growth. Awesome. So where, where were you at score wise on that? Uh, on that one, as far as the nutrient levels, I was at a nine. At a nine. And you know, it's interesting. I was at a nine also. It's pretty undeniable that the nutrient levels, especially that nitrogen, were, were pretty exceptional enough to feed this plant, you know, maybe through its entirety of its life cycle. Maybe some micronutrient additions um, might get a little better plant health. Um, but man, it's just the nutrient levels alone were fantastic. Now, I think it's also notable that the Fox Farm Ocean Forest is 100% organic and it does have some earthworm castings, oyster shells, and some other ingredients um, listed there. Um, so fully organic, and on a nutrient density score through the MySoil platform, it was at 85%. That aligns really closely with Chris and I's score of uh, nine on nutrient levels. All right. uh, the next question is, will it grow? It will grow. <laughs> it, will, it will grow plants. So um, yeah, no, this soil, um, just as a standalone, uh, did a phenomenal job at, um, uh, producing, you know, high quality plants, uh, both the tomatoes and the lettuce. Also, um, you can look at the rooting mass that we developed over time um, in this particular soil. So showing proper aeration, soil structure, nutrients, just all the components. Um, we also, you know, not only add vegetative, but reproductive growth starting, which shows us we have a good balance of, of nitrogen um, in that soil. 
And so, yeah, this, this soil did very well at, at um, supporting uh, plant growth as a standalone. Fantastic, yeah, I mean, and when asking will it grow, I think the results speak for themselves here. Um, chemical, physical properties, all good with this soil. Um, from a scoring standpoint, um, we have seen some plants um, perform just slightly better. Um, so I was at a nine from a score perspective, but um, gosh, it's just a fantastic soil. Um, where were you at score-wise, Chris? Uh, I actually scored it as a nine as well. It, it was close though, to mm. making, uh, making a 10. I mean, it was really close, uh, but yeah, I kind of settled in uh, on a nine on this one. Absolutely. And I guess just to put it simply, even at a nine, it far exceeds expectations. Fantastic soil. So if we go ahead and average price, smell, look and feel, nutrient levels, and will it grow, uh, tally those up, we get an overall rating of 8.0 for the Fox Farm Ocean for us. So certainly one of the top performers um, that we've reviewed to date. Um, and that leads me to the next point, like what's the best use uh, for this? And for me, uh, just to jump out first, it's ready to plant. I mean, you fill your container, you fill your raised bed, and you put your plants in and you're ready to go and carry those through for quite some time. Yeah, I don't disagree. I mean, this this is a good standalone soil, doesn't really need much for amendments, possibly some micronutrients if, that, if that's what you wanna do, but uh, it's a good standalone soil um, as is. Uh, for raised beds, pots, whatever that might be, adding to native soil, uh, just a great all around soil. Absolutely. So we hope that you've all taken something from this, that you enjoyed the product review. If that's the case, you know what to do. Go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the notification so you know when our next product eval comes out. And most importantly, follow along so we can see you again in the lab soon.